Hello there, it's Karen here from Crafty Little Miss K and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm showing you today something not related to Christmas. Over the last few weeks when I've been doing my videos I've been absolutely in love with the Santa's Workshop Suite but for today I'm doing birthdays because over the next three, four months I've got a load of male birthdays coming up. I've got my husband's this month, I've got my dad's next month, the month after I've got my brother-in-law and my nephew and the month after that, which is December, I have got my son-in-law, two grandsons, and I think that's it. <laughs> anyway, so lots of male birthdays. But for now, I'm not sure who's going to get this one yet. So um, this is what I've made. It's a little box and it holds a concertina card. Now, initially, I had some ribbon wrapped around this, but I'd actually started this video before, and then, as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, I've still got my cold going on, and I just started coughing. As I said to you in my last video, it just always moves south onto my chest and my neck anyway, so I had a little coughing fit, so I started again. Anyway, so this is the card I've made, and I don't know if that can all fit in camera there. So you can see it just got birthday, and they've got the happy at the beginning, and there's a little verse at the end where you can write the person's name and who and, and your name at the end there. Or you could even put a, a blank on the back there and write on the back if you wanted to do your own sentiment, or just not stamp on there. It's entirely up to you. Now, I used um, quite a thick designer paper for this. It's got some foiling on it, and I want to show you something that I did earlier. My first attempt... I was a bit heavy handed when I was doing the scoring and I was using this one because I absolutely love that. Really, really love that. I still love it. But when I found as I was folding it, I don't know if you could, that's showing on there, the, the, the cracking. And it's all because I was very heavy handed. So you've got to be careful if you're using foiled paper to uh, just sort of score it gently and just be, you know, treat it nice. Anyway, so um, I decided for my video today that I will, I might just leave that out because I might refer back to that. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I decided today for my video I would just do an ordinary paper just to, in case I get a bit heavy handed. Anyway, so I had started it and like I said, I started coughing. So just for now, just as an example, what you need to start off with is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now this paper comes from um, Best Route, I think it's called, and it's all about travel. So on the back there you've got bikes, um, On let's pull it out and just show you quickly actually, <clears throat> it's quite nice, I actually bought it to, to use for my scrapbooking for when I've, you know, for, to scrapbook my holidays because it's got roads on it, um, there's um, nice blue on the back there, there's different roads there, looks all street lines, uh, this one I've pulled out has got, like I said, the bike on the back, you've got planes, more loop streets, you know those little pointers when you look on a map looking for where somebody is, where something is, if you're looking on, on your um, your phone or whatever, these little things. And um, these little, this, this is a paper I'm actually using, this one here. And that's got a nice grey on the back of it. Anyway, so I've got it all pre-started, I've already got, got it started and then I had this huge coughing fit and I had to stop twice and I thought, you know what, just start again Karen. Anyway, so just for an example, before I actually bring in the project I'm actually working on, you just need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you need to cut it into every four inches and it'll end up with three strips, all, all the same, okay? And then what you'll need to do is get over your scalloped tag punch and if you just push it in real carefully it will go the thicker paper like this one i had to really ease it in but this one because it's a thinner paper it goes in quite easily and then you just punch okay and those three strips that you cut two of them would be punched like this and then the other one would be plain <coughs> and then what i did is i came with my trimmer let's move it out of the way Okay, with my trimmer and where the grooves are where the grooves are just here just line that up on the groove where the cutting blade goes and then if you start at the top and come down you'll hear and feel it come to the gap see and then start at the bottom and work your way up oh i think i need a new blade okay there we are not exactly right i've got the other part my other project is better anyway so that's what you do so you'll have two pieces like that and that becomes then those little bits that's end start and end on the card 
anyway so back to the original project what you'll need to do then is starting let's bring this back just for a second starting with the plain end here you just want to score every two and a half inches and then you'll end up with a score line about there and on the plain one two and a half inches up to seven and a half and then when it reaches the ten you actually just cut it okay and then what you do is you'll glue it all together so that one and where's my other double layer one you glue it together like so yeah that's it those two there so it'll be that's like the middle that was the the plain one just glue it all together to create a nice concertina and then you can decide then whether you want to add more to it or less to it. I mean, I'm doing birthday, which fits in beautifully. If you're doing maybe Father's Day or Mother's Day, you might want to use less concertinas. Um, Christmas would be more. Congratulations would be longer. Noel, if you just want to do a short little card, that would be just four or five, six flaps plus the ends. Because um, what you need is one at the beginning just to start it off like I've done here with happy and then the last one is the sentiment or you can keep it plain just for to put your own message on there anyway so that's what I'm doing and the colors in here are the blueberry bushel mango melody gray granite and pineapple punch these are all new colors for stamping up um, as of this year and I'm going to highlight the blueberry bushel and the mango melody orange and blue basically um, and then I've got the grey granite, I've got the ribbon I'm going to tie around at the end. So once you've done that and you've glued it all down and everything's ready and you haven't coughed like I have, um, what I've done then is I've pre-cut a lot of this stuff and I've used the um, my lovely letters, the uh, what they're called, large letter framelits. Okay, and I've done all those already. Um, like this last one that's why left behind okay so I've pre-done all those already and I've also cut the little panels so for each panel it needs to be in my notebook so I wrote it down let's put it off to one side each of these panels needs to be um, the card one the, the colored card whatever color you use needs to be two inches by three and a half and then little white ones uh, one three quarters by three and a quarter so they'll just layer on like that okay and I've pre-glued two of them because they are going to be the beginning and the end over there let's move it over a little bit so you can see that like, like that and then all the rest of them are going to go in and get glued like that obviously once I've glued them all together but what I want to do is decorate them first and so on uh, I'm not going to do all of this right now because it'll take far too long what I'll do I'll do an example say the last three letters day from birthday or maybe a B and the last three letter two letters something like that <clears throat> just so you get the idea of, of what to do I mean obviously if you've got stamps in the letters I could have stamped the letters and then cut them out or just to stamp them straight onto here but I wanted them to um, sort of stand out a little bit so just leave those there and move that out of the way for now and what I'm going to do is I am using where are the stamp sets that I'm using I've moved them somewhere oh they're right in here <coughs> what I'm going to be doing is I'm using a combination of these three so happy birthday gorgeous um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use on there yet I might not even use that one thoughtful banners because I'm going to use that one with the happy again somewhere in here is happy I can never find it like I did in the beginning of this one so it's going to be the same as that one and then I'm using on this one the picture perfect birthday I'm using the little confetti thing here just to um, decorate around the edges like I did the party hats on this one I'm just going to do some little speckly bits around the edges on these so before I glue them down let's move them out the way and I want a piece of scrap paper to lean on so yeah just so I don't keep moving marking all my uh, my grid paper okay and let's see what colors um, shall I use yellow, grey, let me see, 
I've got pineapple paint, maybe a combination of the two. Have I got grey granite? Let me just check. No, I don't, but I've got a smoky slate. I think I'm, I'm not going to use a grey granite, I'm going to use smoky slate, but I am going to use the, the yellow from the paper. So I just want to just do some sort of random speckly stuff like this. doesn't have to be exactly the same you can make it the same on each one if you want place them exactly the same places it's just to create a bit of a background okay and then I'm going to wipe this to clean up real quick just clean up real nice and quick and then get the grey out And just do a few odd little bits in between like that just to tie in the colors like that and I will carry on the rest off off camera and I will come back to you when they're all done but in the meantime I'll just finish off these ones here let's move them out of the way just for a sec okay so bring in my Tombow I always use wet glue when I'm doing layers just to make sure that if I don't get it right first time I can move it. You don't need a lot of glue. This glue is fantastic. It dries really well. And then just offer it up to roughly where you think the border will be like that. And that's not too bad, is it? At all. Okay, and then just do that. And last one. Oh, it wasn't quite right. There we go. All right, so I'm going to do the Y there and the B, and I'll do something in the middle, the T for example. Okay, again, just a little bit of Tombow on the back. Because you don't really want to put uh, dimensionals too far on, too much on the card, because otherwise it won't fold down flat. Okay, let's put the lid back on for a sec. Now, I'm just going to use the tweezers just to make sure I don't put my fingers in the glue. So, it's roughly in the middle where you think it would go. I mean, if you want to be exact, you could put them together like that and make them so that they are exactly the same height. I'm not overly bothered, as long as they look about right. All right, and then you bring in the card. Now, there'll be a plain one there, so the B will go in there. I-R-T-H-D-A-Y, and then the plain one at the end there, which is somewhere. Anyway... Let's just pop these in, including the plain one. I actually don't want to stamp on that one, so I won't put that one in yet. So. Again, just allow yourself to get that border right. Right, B-I-R-T. Last one. And that'll go on there. That's it. So I'll finish, I'll fill in all the other letters and I'll do um, the blank ones at the end as well. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and I'm back. As you can see, I've done the word birthday now and I did spell it right. You never know when you're doing letters out of order. 
and I'm now going to be doing the front and the back panels so I think I will bring this out now I've got some blocks ready and I'm using the this banner and the word happy which actually sticks out because I've used it so often so it's a little discoloured I'm not too worried about it being crooked or straight on the block because I shall make sure it's straight when I do the stamping. And I think I will stick with blue for this next part. I've got the blueberry bushel. Okay, so we'll do the banner in blue. Oh, I'm going to scrap piece of paper. I don't want to put it straight onto there. I'm going to scrap piece of card. Uh, there we go. I'm using a punch. I'm actually going to bring it down near the bottom here. Hold it for a sec. There we are. Beautifully done. Okay, let's get that a little wipe, get most of the ink off. And then the birthday, I think I'll do in the. I don't know if I've got melanin, but I might have to. Not really remember this one, the orange one. I think what I'll do is I will do it in the blue as well. Just so I'm not sitting here faffing, thinking what colour should I do it? There we go. A little wipe. Okay, so I can put the ink away because I always get ink everywhere. Let's move it right out of the way. That's it. Okay, so I need my banner punch now. And it's the top one I'm going to be doing, so I'm trying to get it lined up as best I can. I'll just punch that out. Oh, it's got stuck in there. That's it. Okay, there's my banner ready to go on there. So what I will do is, uh, did I leave that plain, the other one? No, no, I didn't, I decorated it up. Right, let's get that speckle back just for a second then. And just be very careful not to go over the edge because I've really stuck this one down now. Just a little bit like that. Okay, and the grey. Do like that. Okay, look. Let's close it up again. All right. So I'm going to glue this one down into my there it is into my card first of all. in the middle and about the same height as the other ones and this one I will actually put up on dimensionals just to make it stand out a little bit It's got a creak in it and I don't like it because it's not that old. And again, wherever my tweezers are, just so I can see, I'm going to stick it right in the middle, about there. Okay, so happy birthday. And then we've just got the last card here just to put a little verse on. I don't want to use the same verse as last time. What I want is one that's actually going to fit on it though. Let me just see. I think that's a bit too wide. Oh, maybe. I've got happiest to celebrate the good stuff. Will that go on there? No, it's a bit too wide. What does that one say? Oh, treat yourself. That'll be do. That'll do. Treat yourself. So let's just bring these out the way for a sec and back in their proper places in a moment. Okay. 
okay so this is going to be in blue as well so let's make this nice and straight now lovely I do like the way the stamps stamp I've never been into stamping until I joined Stampin' Up because I found stamps didn't seem to work very well on me. I'm going to keep that one blank because I want to better put the person's name and, and my name at the end there. So we can go ahead and just glue that straight in. Make sure it's in the middle. There we go, that's the card made, almost because I just want to get some of the grey ribbon so let's just close it for a minute that's going to match beautifully with the back I just want to bring the ribbon around to the front which is the right way around, yep and hook it through this one as well let me just cut that off oops, that's a very long point but never mind I think I might cut that a bit short yes I did try again Karen wrap it round first like that Leave enough to do a bow. That's better. Oops. Okay. Obviously, if it's a man, you don't have to put it in a bow. You could just tie it in a knot, but it'd be easier to undo. I'm going to fiddle with that bow later. I'm just going to cut that awful point off, though. That's better. Yeah, I'll just fiddle with that bow later. It doesn't look too bad. <coughs> okay, how are we doing for time? Oh, 22 minutes. I think what I'll do is I'll keep it there. I will do a separate video where I do the box to put it in. And maybe I'll post them the same day, but separately, just so that uh, it does not too long. Okay, so there we go. Lovely card and concertina card that, you know, it can stand upright. If you, st you put it on a mantelpiece like that, you can hang it. Well, I suppose if you wanted to, you could hang it. But I think it looks better standing up like that. Anyway, so thanks for watching. And I will be back very, very soon with the um, instructions to make the box for this one. Oh, and that one as well. Oh, that's the wrong way around. As you can see, I made a mistake and did it upside down, so we'll keep it that way around. Okay, so thanks for watching, um, and I'll be back very soon. Please hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber already, and thank you for the new people who have joined since I last came online. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye for now.